Hello YouTube, I'm Jonah, bringing you another DIY video. And I'm in my driveway right now, and I see we've got a leak somewhere with my car. So let's get started. So if you're new to my channel, and you find my video interesting, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell, so you always get my latest video. And after I put my wheel chocks for safety, jack up the van, I proceed to remove my front passenger tire. We need that room so that tire has to go. Yes, it's my lower radiator hose. Right at the bottom at the radiator inlet. I shine a light to it and it looks like the clamp has rusted. Maybe I can get away by replacing the clamp, but let's do it right and just replace the whole hose and clamp assembly. After I let the car cool for at least half an hour, I open up the radiator cap, but be careful because it may still be hot and under pressure. Then I open up my radiator fluid reservoir. So in our wheel well, we have three Christmas tree tabs to remove. I'll use a needle nose pliers and a nail puller to remove them. Try not to be too rough on them so you could reuse them. And right here, two more screws to be removed. And just tuck it off to the left hand side, just behind the disc brakes. So you gotta take this thing out underneath here. And here, there's two bolts. That's 10 millimeter. Let's see if you can get a nice shot of this here. There you go. One right there. There. And one right there. Right there. And one more Christmas tree tab right here. Now I'll proceed to remove those two 10 millimeter bolts. Also, the last tab to be removed. And here's the bad hose right here. Now I'll place the container to catch all the coolant. Make sure you have your safety glasses and rubber gloves for this one. So if you want, you can use a drain port to drain some of the fluid off. But I won't be doing that. Now I'll take my needle nose pliers and remove the clamp. This end of the hose is attached to the water pump. Just be patient and work it slowly downwards like so. Once it's far enough down, just pull on the hose and watch out for the coolant. And like I said before, make sure you have your safety glasses and your rubber gloves. And just to let you know, this fluid has a sweet smell that can attract pets, but don't let them get close to it, it's poisonous. And depending where you are around the world, don't forget to drop off this fluid to your closest recycling depot. Then give it a quick clean. Then I unclamp the other side, which is attached to the radiator inlet. This one's a little bit trickier because the clamp is a little bit deep inside. And once removed, give it a quick cleaning. And here's a new hose I picked up at the local Chrysler dealership. I like this one because it already has built-in clamps on each end. Other ones may have clamps you have to tighten manually. 
That means you'll have to come back down here again and tighten it another week or two. These ones here, you just have to unhook it or unclip it and it'll automatically clamp down. In my opinion, this is the better clamp. And the other side it has this yellow tab. Just pull out the tab and it'll automatically clamp down. First, I install the side with the yellow tab. That's the one with the radiator inlet. Just be patient and work it in slowly until it bottoms out, but do not clamp it yet. It's a brand new hose, so you may have to use a little extra muscle, something which I don't have. <laughs> And on the other side, just push it into the water pump. Just slowly work it up until it bottoms out. And with the needle nose pliers, I'll unclip it and I'll snap and compress to its position. Once it's clamped, give it a good tug and you're good. Now I go to the other side with the radiator inlet and a pull on the yellow tab and they would automatically clamp on the hose. There you go, all set. Double check, looks good to me. Now both sides are clamped good. Then I picked up this OEM antifreeze coolant, especially for this town and country van. It's the color orange and it's already pre-mixed 50-50, so no need for water. Then I fill up my coolant reservoir. And fill it up to the maximum line. Right about here. And close it up. Then fill up my radiator. Then I'll start the car, let it run, so the air that's stuck in the radiator will be burped out. Looks good, no more air bubbles. And wait for the red line to go in the center. You can also turn on the heat and turn on the blower. This will help out. And when there's no more air bubbles, close up your radiator cap. So if you liked my video and found it helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you always get my latest video. Thanks for watching.